guest, y'all, is a 12-time, that's right, I said 12-time Grammy-nominated musician who also formed her own record label, She's Goals, is what is happening. Her new album is called The Wild Card, and it's awesome. You have to check it out. She is so incredibly gifted, y'all. Give it up for Lettuce C! It's so awkward. First of all, I feel like we would have the same clothes. I love that outfit. I know. Outfit. Look at the sleeves. I, I know. Yours. And I love any kind of, what's that called? Peplum? Or what Peplum. Is it? Yeah. Yes. I'm, yes, yes. first of all, really shocked that I knew that. Look. So I just impressed the hell out of myself. Yeah, we have the same team because I see you. We met, didn't we meet? It was VH1. Yes. Yes, yes. I was, VH1. I was so excited. But can I tell you something real quick? I know okay, we're going to get into ahead. what I'm supposed to be getting into. But, and y'all know each other too, right? Yes. We know each other. I did a, this we did a weekend happened. reunion uh, uh, yes. for NBC, and she sang, and I was I standing in the wings. I went, wait, 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 I have to know her. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that was our first time meeting, and you hosted the show. You're just I sang with Adam uh, Lambert. Lambert. Oh, who is so amazing. Much fun. Y'all killed it, y'all slayed. Oh, you, so did you, you guys. You put it in the pocket, and you walked it off, walked right off the stage. <laughs> right off the stage with it. I was like, how dare her? I didn't know Wicked had such a huge following, yeah. though. It's huge. Oh, my God. With yeah. Adam, too. I was like, yeah. Yeah. where all these people come from? I didn't meet them before. Oh, you know? yeah. No, it's a huge following. Yeah. yeah. It was amazing. Um, I, well, wait. I have to say this because, okay, we like, yes, we performed together, and you are flawless, and it was incredible, and I was like, oh. I usually don't get intimidated on a stage, and I was. <laughs> Whatever. And I was. Whatever. I was. And, and, and here's the thing, too, though. I actually went to the inaugural ball after, because I sang. Really? At, yes, and you performed there. Yes, I did. And I didn't know you were going to be there. And first of all, I felt like such a, like, what am I doing here? Uh -huh. I'm in a ball gown at something called an inaugural ball. Like, I felt like pretty woman in that store. Like, I did not belong. <laughs> and like, all this, I just, I'm, it's like a very fancy event. And I just felt so fish out of water. Mm -hmm. And me and my husband at the time were just kind of like, yeah, we're just going <laughs> to pretend like we're blending in. Like, right. with all these, like, you know, DC elite, like. <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, you came out, and I was like, I love her. I was like, wait, she's performing? Yeah. And then everyone was so stiff in the room, y'all, oh. until Lettucey gets up on stage and performs, and Michelle Obama <laughs> literally, <laughs> like, no, no, she doesn't stand. She rises. It's like, it's like a, it's like a, like she rises. And literally the entire room changed. Like, yeah. everybody went, Oh, okay, cool. And so everyone had such a great time. You brought the best vibe to that whole Listen. night. It changed the whole but night. But you do the same thing. No, I do not. Yes. I don't make people rise. I make them <laughs> clap. It's fine. But it was you, so intense in the room, so I had to change it up because did. I was like, this should be a celebration, not something mm -hmm. dark. We're yes. this is exciting. You know, yes. let's lift lift the room but, but it was interesting was though because she though. i can't believe you remember all that remembered it i was like it, it was a moment um but wait so your parents were musicians as yes. well right? i'm originally from new orleans louisiana new orleans. but i was yeah. raised yeah. in oakland but in new orleans my parents they were musicians my yeah. stepdad played drums my mom this was her band she was a singer and she we lived in a shotgun house you know it just goes one yeah. long line yeah and they would record, her band would record in the living room, and my mom would record the next room would be our bedroom, and then it's another bedroom, bathroom, kitchen. That's the whole house. It just goes yeah. And they would record on an A-track back in the day, and I would sit on the bed and watch my mom record. And when I heard her voice come back, I said, yeah, I want to do this. I got to do this. That's and it was so amazing. Cool. It, was, it, was, it was growing up with musicians, you know, it was great but, and interesting, but when it's time to go to bed and get up for school because the nights yeah. would be long, <laughs> you're, you're like, like go, to, go to bed. We would be up all night long. Okay, this new album, first of all, let's talk about this. This cover is amazing. <laughs> so, I will never be this cool. <laughs> Kelly and I combined will never be that cool. Like, it's, a, it's okay. We all have our own lane. That's <laughs> fine. But, like, this cover is amazing, and it's called The Wild Card. So yeah. why did you, why'd you title it that? I'm an R&B singer, and I love, but I know jazz and classical, and mm -hmm. I've been on Broadway. So there's all these mixtures of beautiful things. In this album, it's predominantly soul, yeah. a touch on jazz, and I wanted to have music that makes people feel good during a, this time. You're really incredible. Um, so you're going to perform your song, Anything For You, later in the show. So what inspired this song? 
Well, there's got to be a you, yeah, right? The, <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be. When I wrote this song, um, I was at my executive producer. He and I produced the album Rex Ride Out. Yeah. We were at his home with his family, mm -hmm. and his father had passed away. And we were talking about his father and all the love that they showed him. They showed he showed them. Yeah. And just all the beautiful things they learned from him, and they were inspired and kept talking about him. And I heard him say that they talked about how he said, um, I hope as he was passing away, I hope I gave my all. I hope I gave my best and I loved you as much as oh I could. Oh my gosh. So I'm like when I heard that, well. that <laughs> I ran home and I had to sit down and write it. And that's where the song comes from about wow. that love for your daughter, or your son or your family member yeah. or the, your loved one. You'll never it never goes away. That love goes no. on and on, even when the physical is gone. Yeah. So it never changes. Yeah. And it inspired me. That's so, my daughter is like in this phase, she's so scared of me dying or her dying, yeah. just dying, death. Yeah. Yes. Like she's six and I'm like, this is a lot for a six. It's but, heavy. But it is a heavy thing. But I always tell her though, it's funny you said that I'm like, well, you're from mommy's body. Like I always, you'll right. always be a part always. of me like forever. That won't go anywhere. Yeah. Like, and I'm trying to like do it in a way to where she's not so scared of it. But, but that's so beautiful. Cause, beautiful. and to make sure we we do live our lives like that. Yes. It's so important. Especially now. Especially we now. We need love. We need yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. Well, y'all, Lettuce's album is called The Wild Card. Go get it today.